Hi everyone! So today I'll be trying out LDRS Creative's new Easter Pirouette stamps. Uh, super cute, as you can see. Very Easter. I mean, look at these little characters. So <laughs> they did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. Any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So um, I'll be focusing on the stamp set today. I will use the die set. There is a separate die set that you can pick up that coordinates back. Of course, this is uh, designed to go with the pirouette system, which I have, and I'll show you in just a minute. But um, you can just stamp these and cut them out and use them in all kinds of decorative ways. Really, really cute to really sweet and make your own little backgrounds or however. But I love that each little egg has a layer. And I'm assuming they go uh, together in that way, like... Um, this egg, right? This little guy has a stamp near him that looks very much the same size. These two, these two, these two, these guys, and these guys. And I mean, I don't know, maybe we can mix and match them, but some of them have slightly different shape, so I'm assuming that's how they go together. Um, we have, again, photopolymer stamps. So really great material. Hope your Easter is extra special. Happy Easter, sending you Easter wishes. And in the die set, you can cut out all those sentiments, which we'll do today. But for right now, I was like, oh, do I want to make a whole background? That'd be really sweet. Maybe I'll follow up with that. Or um, just like a pirouette style. You know, what, what is it that I want to do? So um, I am going to make a standard A2 size card because that's my preference. So I do have a piece of paper here that is cut already to four by five and a quarter because... Um, I want it to be either matting or at least uh, a little bit smaller than just your standard uh, card front. But you can also do, and the reason I'm coming with these numbers is that you can also do the sizing that's on here. So we have four and a quarter. I'm doing four. Um, and then you can kind of mess around with this. Honestly, once you get it down, you can kind of do your own thing. If you want to do like a five by seven, what I would do is use the same circle, but maybe put them towards the outside. I don't know how to explain that. But you can kind of play with this a little bit. and. Um, do your own kind of thing. Now, this is the original set that I had picked up through HSN, and so I just keep it all together, but basically we're going to use this guy here, and then the templates, again, <laughs> mine's all sticky because I leave stuff stuck on them from the last time I used them, but uh, I'm going to use this side. If you want to do the background where you're just going to fill everything in, all you do is use this side and you put several little stamps stamp in the four areas, you know, as you turn uh, the paper or however you want to do it. And then um, take those off, you know, fill in these four areas, fill in these areas, fill in these areas, and keep stamping, and you have a whole background. Um, I have several videos on using these guys. So let me think about what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some inks, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, I was just taking a moment to think about what I want to do, and I think I'm going to use the spiral, because I don't think we've ever done that. And, you know, we'll try it out, see how that works. And generally what I do with this thing is I put a little repositionable adhesive on the back of it. I just take some of that. There's still some on there from the last time I used it. And what I'm going to do is possibly just center this guy. Is that the 4-inch mark? Yep. You don't have to. I'm just being a little extra special right now here with this and there and there you know just putting it right down in the center you don't have to do anything like that and the reason I'm using this is because uh, my paper is not just a square which is normally what we do when we stamp with it you want you know a four and a quarter inch square four inch square three and a half inch three inch two and a half so you want to follow along with those I'm also going to put a little sticky on here just for a moment um, and so we're going to take our little spiral guy. I know, I'm sorry about the ring light. It's just, it's, it's going to be like that. <laughs> so at first, we're just going to line this up. And what you're going to do with this guy is plan out what you want. And then we're going to remove the ones that we want, like different colors or however. But for now, let me put this thing somewhere. <laughs> this big old copper. Um, we're just going to try it out. So it's, it's slightly different from the ring look I don't know how to explain that let me see if we can see here so hopefully you can see like with this spiral it's kind of going like out like this doo, 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 doo. and where this one's more of a circular even though it is circular it's just not the same as one after the other like this you know it's kind of layered up a little bit differently so we got to think about that and how it is that you want to lay this out uh, a lot of the middle is probably going to be covered up because oh we have a sprig um it is going a different direction though than I was thinking but that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to start off with like this little flower right down here and I'm facing the stamps down. What I'm going to do is design it on one of these lines. See how we have these 
pretty different colored lines. Basically, you're just going to go along that. So do you want it right in the center? I'm going to bring mine out just a little bit. I'm kind of following that shape, right? And it can be within here. It doesn't have to be exactly going that direction. You can face things the way you want them to. So we have that little guy. I definitely want an egg. I'm trying to see what shape or what style eggs. <laughs> the silk guys are so cute. So if I had a little egg on there, also kind of going this way again and then so as you can see I have two things I need a third thing there probably and what do we have it does take about quite a bit of space that one egg I might switch it out for a smaller egg and if I did just a little flower hmm maybe we'll go for a smaller egg just to not take up so much space for this particular design so let's go with um, this little guy oh my goodness how cute and then I'm just trying to decide because that one uh, the little spray is a little bit different what I'm gonna do I think is take this just this one little flower a single flower and then I'll put another egg at the end there so this egg will be this guy that comes from over here and I am kind of just letting them go you know, wherever, and I think that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is move this down a little bit. We are going to play with this quite a little bit because um, of the colors I'm going to choose to use, right? They're going to be a little bit different. So whenever I come back, I might have to change that up a little bit, and that's fine. Um, okay. So where is my platform? Here we go. And what I'm going to do, just to make it quicker, <laughs> is I'm going to pick these two up. And I'm going to remove the little flower and then this big guy for now. We're going to go ahead and remove this because all that did was help us position things. So cute. And then what I'm going to do is pick out two colors. I'm going to do two at a time. So I'm going to ink this one and ink this one and then, you know, do our turning and all that. So I'm so sorry about that lighting, but I'll be right back. So we have our paper. I already put a little repositional on here, but I'm going to do a little bit more. And first I'm going to put my paper down to line up on the four inch lines, okay? And I'm not going to pay attention to anything else other than these to uh, corners usually you know it's a square so you can just keep turning it and it'll fit and thin the four inches all around but right now all I'm focusing on those two corners I have this guy I'm gonna turn it over just so I can ink it I'm gonna ink one of the eggs this light pink and one this light blue and that way I can get two of these done at a time and if I have to restamp it I will do that but for now we have that Give it a stamp. That looks pretty good, especially because we're going to go over this same spot again with um, the detail, right, for the little eggs. So we did that one. So I'm going to pick this up. And now I'm going to turn my paper to the next corners that are these diagonal corners, again, at the 4-inch line. And just let that stick down. And again with this one, hopefully I don't forget, outside pink. <laughs> I guess I could leave these open because we are going to do this for a little bit. And then the blue. Turn this over. Give it a little inking. Okay, there's that one. And so again, I'm going to turn my paper. Quarter turn. Here. We're going to go pink. And blue, I said I would leave these <laughs> open, uncovered, and I keep covering them. Okay. Quarter turn. Sorry, it's not really a quarter turn. I guess it's like an eighth of a turn, huh? And anyway, so if you forget, you go a whole quarter turn. Sorry, I said quarter turn earlier. It's really not because you're doing every eighth, right? Um, let's put that back there you'll notice and then you can just go back and repeat it because or, or actually do it if you skipped it you will definitely notice there'll be a gap so 
sorry if you guys can't see that. I'm just inking it up over here. And part of my little swirl is going to go off the page because of the way I'm doing this, but that's okay. Um, okay, next one. Another eighth of a turn. So I'm going to keep doing that and hitting every diagonal and regular you know, turn, and I'll be right back. Back to the last one, which would be one of the diagonal turns. And all I've been doing over here, and I didn't realize it was like out of frame because it was so big, this thing, is just inking up a little pink, a little blue. And I think the pink egg is as far out as I'm going to go with this because um, it does go off the edge here. And you can keep, you know, building it up, but I think uh, now that I see this, I'll know where to stop, right? Like, that's the end of my little diagonal. Okay, and that's everything. Now, I can start back at the beginning. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up my little eggs before I move on to something else. And what I mean by that is I'm going to pick out the, the little companion egg <laughs> that goes with these guys. So uh, let me clean up the ones that I have on my um, plate and I'll so for the blue egg, it's this one. Again, I don't know if they're exactly the same. Maybe you can mix and match them. But I'm going to take a real close look and make sure I'm putting that right where it needs to be. And then for our little pink egg, it's this little floral. I'm going to bring this closer to my face so I can make sure that I'm right where I want these to be and then we'll pick them up, okay? okay? So those look pretty good. Now we're not even talking about the pirouette or anything right now. All I'm trying to do is add the little design to our eggs and that looked great. So I'm going to pick out a darker blue or you know what? We can do some fun things. Let's go... I'm going to go purple with the pink one. I just want a nice deep purple. purple. And maybe with the blue one, we can go... Okay, I just chose this other kind of a deeper blue. So the blue will still have blue, and then the pink one will have like this purple. And all I'm going to do is go around. I know, I'm sorry, guys, about the lighting. So I'm going to turn this over. And on the little one that has to do with the pink guy, we're going to do purple. And I guess I could leave that open again just to make it quicker. And this one I'll do with the darker blue. And again, I'm just going to go around... Same thing, um, just making sure, you know, we're in the right spot there, just about. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. Um, and again, I'm just going to switch over to the next um, area. Kind of give it a look down, you know, the barrel here, just to make sure it's still pretty well lined up. And just keep going, okay? I'm going to keep inking and going. It's closer to me, of course, I would like to see what I'm doing, so a little closer to me. And there that is, with a little detail and everything. <laughs> How cute! I'm going to clean off um, all the stamps, and then we'll continue with the, um, the design. So, what we're going to do is finish up with our design, and you can bring this back on here, but now you kind of see what it's doing. You can just, you know, go back to whatever the design was that you wanted. Um, I think what I'm going to do is fill up these spaces with something different. So I'm still going to use that little flower sprig that we had seen earlier. And I think I want to put it like right here. Right? Just kind of from one to the other. And then I'm going to take a little bow instead, that bow, and put it right at the base of my little, um, my little egg here. I think that'll be really sweet. So they might make contact, but we'll see. I'm going to put that right there. And let me just get this under my face so I can see if that's where I want it. Pretty much. Just a little bit higher on this one. A little bit higher on this one. Okay. And those are two different things. They're going to be two different colors. So what I'm going to do is just pick them up and keep working with them. And the same thing. We're just going to go from, you know, keep turning our paper and all that kind of good stuff. So let me grab some inks and I'll be right back. So... <laughs> I'm going to do some fun things here. Um, so we have it set up back again at the top, you know, straight up. I'm going to take this. I'm going to do my bow um, purple, this Miss Periwinkle. So I'm just going to add some purple on there. And then my flowers, I'm going to do yellow and green stems. So I'm doing yellow in the area that has the flowers, and I'm to carefully just take the very edge of this and do the green along the stem. And if it gets the flower, that's okay. Ah, okay, so that would be my first one. Aw, 
so cute. I didn't know that the green was going to have like the little outline. So we have that. Okay. And again, I'm just going to turn my paper, you know, keep going. I just go clockwise. I don't know. That's just how I do it. And this one, again, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to ink up my purple bow. If you want to do every other color or like the next one a different color, however you want to do it, I am so sorry that it's all crazy. <laughs> That's just the lighting, I'm sorry. Uh, yellow on my flowers. And a little green here on the stem. And again, keep rotating and keep moving and stamping. Okay, and I'm going to keep going, rotate it, ink go and keep hey guys, going. This I'll be is back. my last turn. I'm just inking up the green on my little stem. And I'll place this here. Oopsie. <laughs> it needs to go back one, doesn't it? How funny. See, as I went to stamp it, you can tell right away when you're not in the right place. <laughs> like, okay, no, that one already has its things. It needs to be this one. So sweet and a totally different look with that um, kind of spiral as you can see it's going like this <laughs> where the other one's more circular and then the other one is a background a whole background let me clean up and we will uh, finish up our card for my card base um, I'm just having an A2 size card which again is an eight and a half by five and a half piece of paper that you score at four and a quarter and then we have this guy and I'm also going to use this um, from the lovely watercolor collection. I'm going to cut it so that it fits the whole front of the card. So four and a quarter by five and a half. And that way when I mat this on top, we'll have a little sneaky peek there. And then on this one, I'm also going to just uh, take my little um, We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. I'm just going to take a little bit out of that just to add a little something else to our card base. Okay, but I'll be right back. And I'm actually going to use the opposite side of this, so it has a larger print on this, much smaller on this side. And so what I like about that is that since we are just leaving a little bit showing, it's nice to have that small print so you can see more of like little bubbles, um, little design there. And so I'm just going to um, glue this down. I wanted to see if this glue had been opened yet, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this and glue it right on top, so complete cover up the card front and then I'll just glue this one down on top of that and I'm gluing it down flat if you Sorry, want yeah I'm just gluing mine down completely if you want it to pop up a little more like a plaque you know or like a topper and of course you put dimensionals on it and go from there Ooh, maybe a little ribbon a little bow that'd be cute okay so I'll pop that on here and then I'll pop this one on top okay, so we have our card base here so sweet super eastery um, and then I'm going to just stamp a couple things I want our little chickies, I think they're going to be adorable to help us adorn our little cards. So I'm going to stamp this little guy and this little guy. And this is um, just a piece of uh, marker paper that you can use for alcohol ink coloring there. And then I'll stamp one of the sentiments. Let's see. We have our little guys. Hope your Easter is extra special. Let's do that one. And I'm going to stamp this probably in some VersaFine ink, something that's really dark and juicy like that. So I'll stamp that separately and we'll cut that out. But for right now, I'm going to ink these little guys up. And then we're just going to color them in, you know, just a little color how I, how I do. <laughs> so there's that one. He's so cute. And this little guy. And then I'm going to clean these guys up and I'll be right back. Just clean them off. So I'm going to leave ink on them. And that gives uh, the hybrid ink time to dry because you don't want to go right in with your alcohol ink markers. You always want to give it time to dry. Okay, I'll be back. Hey guys, we have our card base. We have our sweet little items here. And I'm just going to color these guys in. I, I'm mixing yellow and orange and we'll see how that goes. So lemon drops is this first color. I'm going to use a very light yellow. And let me see if I can get it. I like to put a mat or something underneath because you're supposed to color so much that it goes all the way through. So I always like to keep something behind there. So I'm going to start off with this very light yellow for our little guy. And maybe leave that center area kind of open so he looks a little bit round when we're done. And then I go with my darkest color. Now I'm mixing this, you know, just, I don't know. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. So this is called Fruit Punch, even though the name sounds more pink, it's a little bit coral. I'm just going to use that as my deeper color here and there. 
And then I'm going to go into the uh, medium color, which is Bright Sunflower, at least with these markers it is. And blend a little bit of that out. And then I'm going to go back through. So this is just really fun, just kind of playful coloring. I'll probably do the little wings, the darkest colors. And now I am going to go through and mix everything through, and even that center area that I didn't do initially. And since I didn't do that, since there's no color there, it just looks more like rounded in that area. I'll do something similar over here, and I'll be back. off our sweet little card. I'm just going to bring these guys out and these are usually pretty easy to see right through so I'm just going to do that. Of course tape it down so they don't move and same thing with our little characters and I will run it through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. All right let's get our little guys out here. Oh our sentiment popped out real nice. These guys are still kind of held on with the tape. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay. Now, let me play around with this just a little bit because I'm not sure who or what I'm going to pop up here. It'll look really lovely there. And then we have our little characters. And I kind of wanted this little guy looking at this little guy. <laughs> so um, let me play around with this a little bit and see how it is that I want to pop them on here so that we can see the words and have our little characters. Yeah, out to the side, and I'll be right back. So, you know, I'm them just like that, and they're, and they're going to be kind of presenting the little wording here, but I went ahead and ran through the lettering again just to get a drop shadow so this can kind of pop from the back there. So what I'm going to do is just glue that on there. Um, I could split it too, and if you wanted some drop shadow at the bottom, some at the top, you know, however you want to play with this. But I think I'm going to do it, let's see. Yeah, something like this. So I'm just going to glue these together like that. Okay, I'll be right okay, back. Guys. Oh, I love the colors on camera, so cute. Um, so what I do here is I just uh, glued those together. I did add some dimensional. I put the same amount of dimensional on our little characters, but if you want to like double them up so that they're even popping out more than your sentiment, I'm going to bring this closer to me so I can see that I'm pretty even here. But um, you, know, you can definitely do that. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure about straight maybe a little bit more this way okay and then our little guys and <laughs> pop this little guy like here and this little guy over here And seeing my little purple bows all around, I thought, would it be cute if I just added a real purple bow? So I have this uh, organza ribbon here, and I'll just make a finger bow. I don't know if I'm going to make it doubled up or just one. Let me see. So again, finger bows that go in front of these two fingers. And now you can do four if you want a really big, you know, like big loops. You can definitely pretend like these are two fingers together and go like this. That's a much bigger bow than I normally do. But um, I'm going to go around these two over the index, between these two fingers, under my middle finger, and then that makes one little bow, but you know, usually I do two. So I'm gonna go back around my index in front of my middle finger and get myself a good amount here. Finish off that loop by going behind my middle finger, across everything, shove it through my fingers here. And this little loop I just created, we're just gonna finish it off. So you're gonna take this end and put it through that loop you just made and give it a pull. So I'm going to play with this until I'm happy with the way it looks. That looks pretty good. And then I always like to just kind of singe the ends, ends of my bow so that it doesn't unravel. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to hit that with a little, um, little flame and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I'm just going to fire up my glue gun. I'm going to pop that right there since it's organza. You can see the words through there. And um, so that's that. So really fun trying out something different, at least for myself. I usually do the wreath kind of style on the pirouette or like the whole background. So it's a little bit different. Um, you know, I went and did my little decorations all at the same time. I pretty much hit them all. But if you are afraid that you're going to be off at any point because, you know, you are kind of going back over what you already did, um, you can just do it one at a time, you know, with like a smaller block and just doop, 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 add your little decoration to them um i just did it all in one fell swoop so all right guys thanks for watching thank you so much ldrs career for sending these items for review so i'll heat up my glue gun stick that down right there i'll have some images for you guys i'll have the links coming up uh, in the description box should i say and i'll see you guys at the next one bye now